Right, so hello and welcome back to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. So last time out, we looked at Laura and Aladdin's three-day wedding in Tunisia. After all of the doubts, arguments and fallouts, the couple had made it to their wedding day. And they had even convinced Laura's son Liam, who had never approved of the relationship, to fly all the way to Tunisia for the ceremony. Despite not showing up for the first two nights and then having a big fight with Aladdin, Liam came around and was by his mother's side for the most important day of the wedding. The episode ended with Liam apologising to Aladdin for not giving him a fair chance and Laura and Aladdin ending the night with a big smile on their face as they left the ceremony officially husband and wife. So in the last video I said there'd be one final video on the couple, basically looking at the season finale tell-all episodes a couple of weeks after the wedding. But the story actually went on a little bit longer than I realised. As well as doing the two season finale tell-all episodes, Laura and Aladdin made one final appearance on 90 Day Fiancé What Now? which was filmed several months after these tell-all episodes. On top of that, since the What Now episodes came out, there's been quite a lot of drama between the two, including some pretty disturbing accusations and some pretty dark rumours. I tried to fit the tell-all episodes, the What Now episodes, and all of the latest off-screen drama into one video, but after filming and editing it, it came to about half an hour long, so instead I've decided to split it into two. Next time out, we're going to be looking at the What Now episodes as well as where the couple are today. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on the two drama-filled season finale tell-all episodes, where we catch up with Laura and Aladdin six weeks after their wedding to find out how they've been getting on as husband and wife. So yeah, let's just get into it. I really miss Aladdin. Like, I wish he could be here and be a part of this. And, you know, I see all the other couples and they're having a good time. I haven't told anybody anything of what I'm going through because it's so embarrassing. So after that tearful intro, everyone sat down on sofas in this big room and basically talked about the season that had passed, looking back at some of the key moments. Given that's basically what we've been doing on this channel over the last few videos, I thought I'd skip over all of that because nothing really new is said. The only real difference is that all of the other couples seem to be looking at Laura and Aladdin's relationship through quite a US-centric point of view. So Aladdin ends up spending most of it apologetically standing firm on his cultural beliefs that led to most of their arguments, like with the toy that Laura bought for them for the bedroom. No, but for me, I don't accept. I'm so sorry about that. Can we change this now? Right. Are you for it? It was kind of obvious that Laura and Aladdin had been fighting a lot because of the way that they spoke to each other in the group discussion part. But it wasn't clear just how bad things had actually gotten until the host sat down with Laura one on one to talk about it all. For some reason, this week, all of a sudden, Aladdin wants to break the commitment that we made to each other just six weeks ago. Like, who listen, does listen, this? Listen, Laura, you know what? She make fights for no reason. And uh, I talk with her and she don't care. It's horrible, you know? You disrespect me. You will not change. And I give you no, one more chance and one more and one more. Well, you know what? That's what love is. Aladdin kept saying over and over again that Laura had been disrespecting him. And I think he kind of just meant that she wasn't behaving in the way that he would expect a wife to behave in his culture. And as a result of that, they had kind of been arguing pretty much non-stop since the wedding. One of the kind of annoying things about Laura in this tell-all episode is that she kind of thought that now Aladdin had married her and said that he loved her, that he should have to put up with everything in the relationship that he didn't really like, no matter what. And I think it got to the point where Aladdin just realised that Laura was going to keep doing things her own way, they were going to keep fighting about it, and nothing was going to change. And so he decided that he didn't want to be in a relationship where things just weren't going to get any better. With all of the stress that Laura's put Aladdin through, I'm surprised he hasn't been losing his hair from it. And with that, I think now is a good time for a quick message from today's sponsor, Keeps, who provide hair loss treatment for men. You know, when Keeps first reached out, I can't lie, I was quite confused. I mean, not only am I not balding, but I've barely begun puberty. But as it turns out, the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it whilst you still have hair. Did you guys know that on average, two out of every three guys by the time they hit 35 will have experienced some form of male pattern baldness? Now, I might still be over a decade away from that, 
but I'd like to think that I'll still be creating content for you guys in 10 years time and I don't want to be boarding for that. So rather than having to go visit a doctor for your hair loss prescription, with Keeps you can go online, speak to a doctor and get FDA approved hair loss medication delivered straight to your front door every three months. So you can say goodbye to awkward doctor's visits and long pharmacy checkout lines. If you're noticing that you're losing your hair or you just want to begin taking precautionary measures, now is the time to do something about it. For a limited time only, you can visit keeps.com forward slash Arthur TV using the link down below to 50% off your first order and find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and why hundreds of thousands of men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention medication. Thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video and the link to that will be at the top of the description. All right, now back to the video. Like I, I, I give you many, many chance. Like every time I say she will change, she will be like that. She, but you don't care. You just, you are just like that. If I don't so what care, I do why you? am I trying? Why am I fighting for our marriage if I don't care? No, you don't fight for your marriage. You just fight for yourself. Laura, it's like thousand times you disrespect me. And I, I say it's OK. And I give you no, one more chance. What? But she don't care. She just do it again and again and again. There were a lot of small things that caused arguments over that six week period, but one day in particular, Aladdin went out for a few hours to run some errands, and when he got back, Laura just wasn't there. She didn't text him to let him know, and when he tried calling her, she just didn't pick up. Aladdin said that in his culture it's disrespectful and that a husband should always know where his wife is, but Laura said that it was no big deal, she was just lonely and she went out for a coffee. I think it's one of those things that doesn't really sound like a big deal, but it just highlighted a massive problem in their relationship and that's that the culture difference is just too big for them to overcome. I think Laura just assumed that they were going to keep arguing about things without really coming to any resolution or compromise. And I think Aladdin was just like, that's not how I want to live my life, because then we're just going to keep arguing about the same things over and over again. And when is that going to end? And to make things worse, after their wedding, Laura started having really big money problems. Do you have an issue that I no longer can pay our rent? Yeah, I pay the rent. Do you pay the rent? There's no more money. I have ran out of money and I have told him that I'm not going to be able to pay for the rent anymore. I spend all my money for this wedding and she don't care about me. My pension, my pension has been cut. So we're going to end a marriage? Come on. You, you, you said you were going to end a marriage. Have you de decided to get I a divorce? I am not ending the marriage. For some reason, all of a sudden, Aladdin wants to break the commitment that we made to each other just six weeks ago. So yeah, it turns out Aladdin asked for a divorce. On 90 Day Fiancé, couples get paid to be on the show, but now the season's ended, so is their pay. Laura's retired and doesn't have a job, so once the money from TLC stopped coming in, that was pretty much it for her financially. In a reply to a comment on Instagram, Laura said, When the money ran out due to the show, so did my husband. I told him I could no longer bring him to Canada, so he was out. He has lots of women now willing to sponsor him, so good luck and God bless. Reading that was actually the first time since meeting Aladdin that I wondered whether he was actually in it for a green card all along. Like I've said before, in part one where we only really found out that this young Tunisian guy was interested in a 51 year old Laura, I definitely thought that was the case. But since meeting Aladdin and finding out that he lives in a wealthy country, and also that he wanted Laura to come live with him in Qatar, as opposed to them going to live together in America, there didn't really seem to be that much to suggest that he was in it for a visa. On top of that, Laura's a Canadian citizen on a temporary visa, so he couldn't have got a US green card by marrying her anyway. We also found out that he earns good money as a personal trainer, and actually paid for the entire wedding himself, up front in cash, so it didn't seem like he was after the money either. There didn't actually seem to be an obvious ulterior motive. But then, after the show finished and the couple split up, Laura revealed that they had actually planned for her to make the required 10 year financial commitment of sponsoring his visa. Once she lost her pension and the 90 day fiancé money stopped coming in, she basically had to tell Aladdin that she could no longer afford to sponsor him and couldn't bring him to Canada anymore. And that's when she said she got to see the real Aladdin. That's when he totally changed on her. So yeah, maybe I got it wrong. But someone who definitely didn't get it wrong and is feeling quite smug about it is Laura's 22 year old son, Liam. Mom, you okay? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, she doesn't seem like she's okay at all. I don't know what is there to say. These seem just like simple, petty arguments that you two can exactly. easily work out. It's petty arguments. This is very familiar. What do you mean? Just to reiterate, 
the same thing that I've always said to you, Mom, that you meet up with these men, you spend so much time with them, and then eventually it all goes south and you get hurt in the end. So nothing new from Liam. This is what he's been saying all season long. And of course, it looks like he was right. I never really thought he was wrong, and I don't think many of you guys did either. I just really didn't like the way he went about it. And I think the teller was the lowest he went with it all. What do you think it is about your mom's choices that lead to the same familiar ending? Uh, bad taste in men. <laughs> Come on, man. Do you like Aladdin, Liam? No, not at all. I mean, not hugely surprising that he doesn't like Aladdin, but laughing in his mother's face and saying, I told you so, while she sits there in tears, just doesn't sit right with me at all. Aladdin, how do you feel about Liam saying that his mother has bad taste in men? <laughs> Liam, stop laughing. Yeah. It's not a joke. I don't know, like, uh, do I do something bad for you, man? Like, you love, like, it's something, like, joke, you know? Like, you have fun about what's happening. I do not like seeing my mother upset. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say or think about this entire situation right now. <laughs> I'm glad all the other couples listening in thought this was weird of Liam because I've actually had a few comments on these videos over this series basically being like why is Liam being made out to be the bad guy like who wouldn't disagree with their 51 year old mum marrying and potentially having kids with a 30 year old and maybe I just didn't express my feelings clearly enough but I've never had a problem with Liam feeling the way he does about the relationship like if I was in his position I probably wouldn't like Aladdin and I probably wouldn't want my mum marrying and trying to have kids with him either. It's just that he was always so rude and immature about it and that's exactly what's going on here. Like he was right, it didn't work out, but what kind of person sits there whilst their mother is heartbroken and laughs about it? It's psychotic. You know, I think that I'm a good person, I have a good heart, I should have good love in my life. Liam, you should watch your mother happy in life and with a, a, a good man, honey. And there you go, he has nothing else to say. He just wants to sit there, dress like he's just got off a private jet from Epstein's Island and bask in his mother's humiliation. Of all the degenerates this program brings to light, there are a few that I dislike more than Liam. Seemingly the only person with a level head throughout this entire series was Laura's adopted brother Ludwig, who made one final appearance in the tell-all. Perhaps that the cultural difference is quite big there. However, that doesn't mean that it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. My question is, my wife, if she would go to, to get a coffee and she didn't tell me, I, I wouldn't be bothered. It's not like that, and yeah. we are not the same culture, you know? And that is literally what the whole thing boils down to. The cultural difference was too big, and they were just too stubborn to work it out. The tell all finished with Aladdin saying that he would consider marriage counselling and their relationship hanging by a thread. The future of this relationship is... I don't know. I really, I don't know. Right now, I'll just take it. One step at a time. Well, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. Next time out, we're going to be having a look at the two 90 Day Fiancé What Now episodes, where we catch up with Laura and Aladdin several months after the Tell All episodes. We'll also be catching up with all of the latest news, gossip and off-screen drama. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out, make sure you subscribe down below. As always, the links to my Instagram, Twitter and other social media will be down below. So feel free to come drop me a follow to keep up with the channel, help me decide what future videos to do or just say hi in between uploads. Also, I just wanted to give a really quick shout out to my Patreon supporters for supporting me and the channel over on Patreon. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.